The Rise and Grind Morning Show is on. 419 The Grind. Trump, Demi, Demi, Demi. Ah! Bitch, that's all risk. Shoes, red bottoms, bills all crips. Pass the vaccine, niggas all sick. I hear them talk shit, show up and they all on D. Too much fraud shit, can build a whole house. They shooting all bricks. All that pillow talk, and you done lost a bitch. I don't need a pick. Now watch the sauce. That walk is just lift a finger, bitches like, ooh, watch it glow. Call fatty like a willy, smelling like a cash stimmy. If niggas say it's smoke, I'm sliding down the old gym. Now I ain't playing, bitch, really. Nah, 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 a nigga too jiggy. Fuck a mean, you are really grand slam to dick. I know you ain't a boss, cause your bitch be too friendly. I got a question, what's with the capping nowadays? All you preach about is money. Bitch, I'm stuck in my way, splashing that reed. Your paper and some matrix of shame Cut from a different cloth We cut the nets at the game Lost some friends and gained endeavors No handouts, my own investors Strip club, we bring umbrellas Happy places under pressure With the dogs like I'm Cruella Money talk, I'm serving lectures Shame my name to Sasquatch Cause I'm a big stepper oh. Swish Bitch, that's all risk Shoes, red bottoms Bills, all crips Pass the vaccine Niggas all sick I hear them talk shit, show up and they all on D. Too much fraud shit, can build a whole house. They shooting all bricks. All that pillow talk, and you done lost a bitch. I don't need a pick, now watch the sauce strip. Done lost so many homies in the past year. That chillin' be humble shit so last year. Pop my shit, bet I talk it. A nigga took a hell, it was less than never lost. Church. Never trust a soul, cause they ain't make it to win coffee. Church. And don't believe a bitch to say the shit don't do the soft. And then it's happy, steady, flossy, extra salty. Ooh, they lost me. Just teasing up behind us, wiping feet up, kissing off. Hey, who you think you is? Crunch time, little with the step back. This guy's playing, fuck boys, gotta accept that. All these gold links, they think I'm Cuban. Head on the swivel, every circle got a juice. Pull my shit and y'all can scoop it. MVP for most improvement. Draft night, how y'all be choosing? Wade to James, how we hooped it? It's a comeback if I'm losing with the forms. Came from you, it's my till Jordan. Walk up in that bank and it's just how we do it. Hold on. Swish. Money. Bitch, that's all rich. Shoes, red bottoms. Bills all crips. Pass the vaccine. Niggas all sick. I hear them talk shit, show up and they all on D. Too much fraud shit. Can build a whole house. They shooting all bricks. All that pillow talk. And you done lost a bitch. I don't need a pick. Now watch the style strip. Say what you mean, mean what you say, nigga. Ain't riding, stay up on my way, nigga. They got your food, I'm still in place, nigga. To love yourself, no BS and BS and then pride yourself of life lessons, life lessons is confidence when you stand on it. Cause your mama gave you all the assets you was born with. Watch your skin glow when you tell her, tell her no. And watch your soul glow when you tell her man no. Recognize the difference, it is no coincidence. Before you step on the scene, don't forget to apply your Shake butter cream, keep up butter, melody, cocoa oil, oil sheet, go show off the melody, just so glow, watch us.
yo, Lane, check dig, man. I was just sitting back reminiscing, man, you know what I'm saying, and vibing on how things used to be, you dig? Like when we was young, so you know what I'm saying, that OSD and used to rock. St. Angela, you know? Which you didn't used to see the tennis every day. I used to go to Lido. When kids really used to go outside and play. I used to go to Lido. When females used to carry themselves as women. I used to go to Lido. Listen, I remember back in the day when I was a Backyard hooping on crates Sneaking jars out the house Trying to catch lightning bugs and snakes The good old days when penny candy Really used to cost a penny uh -huh. Ice cream truck had ice cream on it You could buy for ten pennies Woo. Pipping your bike out with chrome caps Reflectors and mirrors and The hood used to be a village Back when the neighbors cared It was less snitching More females carried themselves like women uh -huh. I wish I could go back and visit Cause I miss the old Toledo it ain't got that same vibe, it got no more to go outside and play. Yeah, okay. I feel where you going, CJ. Okay, man. It's your boy Bobcat, man. Just reminiscing, check this. Where hustlers used to do, they throw it out, shit. I'm just reminiscing about the old days. And now, I don't go far back as the old Jays. Lane, look, I'm talking late 80s, early 90s. On all burn up at Peach Rose is where you can find me. I was screaming crossroads for the love of the dope. 16 double O into the world blow. When Indo and Joint Mob had a lock on the South. And Arden Coleman had you scared to come out of your house. Around the time when Magic Wand found out he was Plera. And Ray Stone was so fly, yeah, that was the era. Plenty and Philly and all was rapping for Out Hill. That Scott and Libby game could damn near get a nigga killed. When North Town was bumping, South Vic was slumping. Follow the light, lightning rod had every club jumping. I give her all my legs, two shoulders and the two. To see Salido how it was in my youth. Man, I miss the old Toledo. Which is it? Every day, I used to go to Lido. When kids really used to go outside and play, I used to go to Lido. When females used to carry themselves as women, I used to go to Lido. When hustlers used to chew their tongue without snitching, I used to go to Lido. Wake up, Toledo. Wake your ass up. You're listening to the 419 Grind, Rise and Grind Morning Show. Good morning. Hey, Grinders. What's up? Welcome Happy in. Happy Monday. No, Yay. it is Toxic Taco $2 Tuesday. Oh, oh. I was like, what? Happy Tuesday. It yes. is not Monday. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, okay. it's, it's Happy Toxic Taco $2 Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday. Yes. So welcome in to the number one voted podcast, the Rise and Grind Morning Show with Leah Renee, Shay K, Clyde Hi, Green, and Jay. Say that three oh, times fast. <laughs> We all rhyme too when you say like that. Mm -hmm. Do it. Okay. Um, I was talking about the Taco Tuesday, Toxic. Oh, yeah. Tur oh, turn oh, okay. Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Toxic Taco Tuesday. Two dollars. You missed the toxic taco. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, we added two dollars. Toxic Tuesday. Toxic Tuesday. No, I can't do it. Toxic Taco Two Dollar Tuesday. Yeah, I can't do it. Toxic Taco Two Dollar Tuesday. Toxic Taco Two Dollar Tuesday. Toxic Taco Two Dollar Tuesday. What do you want? What did she win for Santa? I went to a taco, a chicken burrito taco on J Cool. Yeah, where, where from? <laughs> <laughs> from uh, where? Erica's making them today. Oh, that's today. Shout out well, to Erica. Well, not here, but she's making them at a different. Oh, location. okay. She always talk about some. She's is, making them. She's selling them. Be here at the grind. She's selling them. Oh, but she you? will be here making them live. Is she selling when? them to you? Real soon. Huh? She's selling you tacos. No. Where the goddamn mm. tacos at? <laughs> but you're putting in the order, and then my taco is gonna be on your order. I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
Well, All shout right. out to our sponsors. Hot Box, Mud City ENT, yep. Essential Vibes, uh-huh. Land Self, The People Salesman, yes, J. Rush Jennings, yes. Sasha Denise, Da-da. Greater New Psalmist Church, Amen. The Social Butterfly, hey, Kendall Harvey, yes. Hype Organization, hype, hype. and Kenya Creations. Hey. And if you would like to become a sponsor of the number one voted podcast, make sure you send your info to Rise and, and Grind on. at the 419grind.com. And you can become a sponsor of the number one voted podcast. Hey. Yes. Okay. Now. Okay. You about to set a fire? And he <laughs> talked all that mess about me. Right. He talked all that mess about me. He putting his baby oil on. He talked all that mess about me. That was that baby oil. That was hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Oh, Why you put some? Your hands gonna be dry. You put some lotion on. I put some more so body butter after on. that you because put that's body gonna dry. Your own then hand sanitizer. You supposed to do my lip chat and stuff, and I just you know people watching. Hand sanitizer. Try telling the listeners, talking to people. Mm, that's toxic. Yeah. <laughs> you just playing toxic behavior already. Well, shout out to our girl Nikki because I'm gonna tell you what I need some more of that body butter because half my thing is like already almost well, you gone. You need now too. How are you gonna speak? You know, I'm gonna get you together. Oh, we friends. Okay. You know, I, got, I got a nice. Shoot. I got both of mine. I got in the one car. here, that's one in, one at home. Sure. Sure. I guess I am. Though. She looked right. like that. Yeah, Clyde, Clyde, Clyde was right. It's cool. You're right. Y'all my hands are right. You can never just have too much though. They are. Go ahead and give me a little bit too. Mm-hmm. But and see how you don't hear? See how you don't hear nothing? Yeah, so you don't, you don't, hear, you don't even much. hear me. You're not supposed to hear that. You hear You're not supposed shit. to hear, hear your own bunch of. You're not. Not. Stop, stop moving your hands, Leah. <laughs> nothing. Oh, yours, that was yours. That yours sounded like you was uh, starting a fire with <laughs> your right hand. No, it sounded like you had sandpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't using body butter. That wasn't body butter. That was uh, hand sanitizer. We know, but he applied it beforehand, so that means you didn't get soft before then. That's terrible. Put some sanitizer on your hands after that. Then wrap it in the microwave. I bet it don't do it still. How much on the bed? Uh, oh, I got $2 man, you are so that's already bet. bet. No, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> That's because the, the, the body that butter. Said, no, 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 no. Give me two dollars. You, you try. You try it again. You try it again. <laughs> Still sound like a fire. Give me the two dollars because you lost five dollars last time. Okay. Well, okay. I sound like a fire. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, he got bigger hands. But you lost your bet to me, though, okay, so I, I need you. my $2. I got you. You can cash up. I got you on the first. Do $2.50. But I normally put my thighs on after I put my... Yeah, that was just stupid for me to just do that. Usually, you put on the sanitizer first. first and then, then the body butter. Yeah, body because yeah. that dries out your skin with the alcohol. But in. shout out to our girl, Royal Custom Beauty, my girl, Nikki. Uh, Nails by Nikki. Um, yeah, she hooked like us up, and I'm definitely joy. gonna be putting in an order to <laughs> hold on because oh look, see, only did one application. Oh, sorry, <laughs> she yeah. used all five of her fingers. She took your nail like a little shovel, though. <laughs> <laughs> but she took all seven of her fingers and went. I, she needed it though. Scoop. That's scoop, yeah. I needed yeah. it, she, she but needed I, it I applied it, it on my skin. She ain't got her arm shown. I put this on her yeah, you got missionary hands. So you about to lay hands on her tonight? You know, God told me I'm gonna, you know. Talk to the masses and Uh-oh. preach. You know, actually, preach you talking to the masses now too? That's crazy. Right. Yeah, that's all. Wow. Deliver a word. You know what's that? It's Can y'all good. believe we do a radio show and people just like listen to us and watch us, yeah. and we just here talking stupid? <laughs> we don't always talk I know, stupid I'm just, though. I'm just saying. No, we give them. Sometimes little, we, we got give some them serious. We give them laughter. We give them cry. We, do. we give them. Sometimes positive. we got some things to say. We got some good. Somebody things got some to things to say. Who? Us. Oh yeah, yeah. We do. I said sometimes we got oh, some good things to say. You're right, you're right. Sometimes we have good things to say. <laughs> and then we have stuff like that. And yeah. then we have Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> who can't work a MacBook like he's supposed to. What are you trying that? to do? I'll pull up them downloads I just did so I can go print that paperwork off. Oh, you about man. to print them now? Yeah. Print, 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 you about to print what? Print. I'm gonna send them to the front computer. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right now? I'm multitasking actually. Oh. <laughs> He got something going on. Baby what do you, do, what do you, what do you download? Together. What are you printing? Uh, the questions for today's guest. <laughs> are they going to be fired? They or? might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was here? Is that no, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Look, we, you done got us ready. We is that tomorrow? Is that Friday? Friday? I don't even know when he comes. That's Friday. <laughs> I don't make them schedule no more. It's Friday. Um, I don't know. Is that coffee good? Yeah, you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you taste it? <laughs> I got it from Wixie. So. Oh. oh. I've never had their coffee before. Shout out to Wixie. Oh, they got oh, coffee? They, they, hmm? they got coffee? Oh, you know. Hmm. Ignore that. 
<laughs> and store coffee. Yeah, you know so that it was good. It's good. So look, he always shout out to our girl Bethany. It was actually yeah. Shout Bethany. out to Bethany. She yes. was here yesterday. Whipping she in the kitchen. Yeah, she's a baker. Licking that mm-hmm. wrist. Yeah. Uh huh. She make them donuts. She make those donuts. Yeah. Oh, shout oh, out to her. Shout out to her. Next mm-hmm. time, a little easy on the sprinkles. <laughs> nah, I'm done. <laughs> he said his tummy started rumbling after he did too many sprinkles. I was all the sprinkles like no. You didn't even taste the sprinkles. So I what? know. I said I saw those sprinkles and said, oh, no. Oh, okay. Because there was too many? Yeah, there was too many sprinkles. How many do you need? Just the top? Or is that like fully covered in sprinkles? Maybe not the whole little sw- uh, sift up. Just like a little. Boop. It was like, like, it was like. Just a little boop. A little salt, like, 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 salt <laughs> bay. <laughs> mm, a little sprinkles. It was like 50 sprinkles on there. You need about 20. Right? He said he yeah. owned a sugar. Sprinkles was cool when you was uh, young at Ryan's. Which is not a spotlight. <laughs> 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 sprinkles, sprinkles was cool yeah. nah, I'm just a little too said old before it was a spotlight. Oh you was putting yeah. it on your ice cream Oh yeah with that chocolate syrup oh, man. Oh, That shit was frozen what? yogurt used to go 10 frozen Only yogurt? thing I didn't do yeah, at, at Ryan's yeah, was but, do hey, the uh, That was ice cream nuts <laughs> Only thing I didn't do was the, uh, was the chocolate fountain thing They had one of to me, To me that was No disgusting. they didn't have that That wasn't was back in Ryan's days That was Golden Corral It was accidental I was about to say I know Golden Corral had that Yeah Golden Corral had that Oh that was Golden Corral Golden Corral It's just something about it yeah, are the, they the open with COVID? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Are they? Are they? I that's nasty. Been to a buffet yeah, that's forever. interesting. Yeah, I, I was mean. wondering about that. Shout out to Golden Crow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the hope alive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's kind of weird. Damn. <laughs> oh, damn. I got hey, my aunt, and when, you, huh? when we used to go there, my aunt used to bring Ziploc bags. <laughs> no, really? auntie. Uh, to go back? Auntie. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm getting all, all I can eat. <laughs> I'm paying for it. It's a story it's really uh, th- about somebody at Ryan's. Uh, it was this old church lady uh, who went to Ryan. I'm gonna tell this story. Tell it. So it was this old church lady who went to Ryan's for uh, one day, and she stayed. She went in for breakfast, um, and uh, she ate breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Because <laughs> I know where you're going with it. So she ate breakfast. She sat around. She waited around a little bit. You know, let that food digest. And uh, it was around lunchtime. And she uh, she had everything. She started eating lunch. She was so so <laughs> she sat there, ate lunch, <laughs> and then uh, she sat around for a little bit. And then where about the three going? three or four o'clock, she sat, and then she ate dinner. dinner. Oh, you can okay. Eat. And uh, so once she got her dinner plate, started eating her dinner plate, the uh, police came in. <laughs> what? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, so she what? was at McDonald's. He said, "No, no, no, no. Ryan's." Oh, Ryan's. Ryan. Okay. Totally off. <laughs> so, so, so the police came in with the manager and say, uh, "Miss, we're gonna have you know, we're gonna you're gonna have to come with us." She's like, "Why? What did I do for for uh, for for theft?" Like, what do you mean theft? Like, I like I pay for my my food. Like, no, you pay for one meal. You ate three meals. Yes, like, you right. ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So they handcuffed her and hog tied her what? and took her out to the squad. When car. did they, they ever the serve wagon. breakfast at Ryan's? They did. Oh, I didn't know that. So did they, did they make people leave after they did shift? Change? I never knew that. Huh? Did they make people leave when they did? Uh, I don't. I, I don't know. I've never. I've it's never seen a true anybody. Story. Stay. Yes, but it she is. really got arrested for that. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, but hey, I thought you let's play. Because she, you she refused to leave. She let's refused. play. The story guess was, that right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Shout the, out to uh, ain't it all you can eat? She refused to <laughs> leave. When, when he asked her to leave, she says no because she paid for her food. So the police came in and, and basically oh. hog tied her and took her out to the, to the and paddy wagon. She would have been in the book for stealing. If she, we would have had a book yeah. back then. Yep, yeah, she would have been in the book for the stealing. Ryan's. Wow. <laughs> Shout out to Ryan's. So. All right, Peter Ryan's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. That's why. Is there are, is there Ryan somewhere else? Yeah. Yep. Where? I don't know. Oh. Google it. Mm. Maybe right. not. <laughs> you about to ask Go ahead. I feel like I seen one Have in Florida seen, uh, a couple years so. back. Uh, Ryan, uh, the nearest Ryan Steakhouse, please. <laughs> 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 Sir, I don't know what you're talking. She's like one moment. I didn't even hear her say that. She's nothing. looking for. She sleep. The closest one I see is Ryan's restaurant on West Michigan Avenue in Grass Lake. Do you Grass, Grass Lake, call Grass Lake, Michigan. Oh, that's that was West Michigan Avenue, Grass Lake. Oh, we should go Grass Lake in Michigan. Five one seven. That's that's Stratton. That's Stratton, Pennsylvania. We should go take a ride. We should go and go do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, sure and we is, should record sir. it. <laughs> Live broadcasting live. Siri, don't frozen my phone. I'm not trying to get hog tied now. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Vic could come get us out. That's <laughs> doing good. That's because she refused to leave. Yeah, we'll leave. 
Or we just you do breakfast, you do lunch, we do dinner. <laughs> All one together. <laughs> Ninjas. Y'all crazy. I hope the weather be so can okay. You, can we? You want to play guess the race? Is that what you said? No. <laughs> well, the the weather is okay right oh, now. Weather it's cold. Is it is cold. I'm freezing. Um, it's 45 degrees. The Burn. sun is out though, Burn. and it's gonna get to a high of about 54 degrees. Oh. Okay. Tomorrow and Thursday. Tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, we're gonna be in the 60s with some sun. So that's mm. gonna be nice. Um, Saturday, actually. All the way through the weekend. So for the rest of the week and the weekend, it's going to be in the 60s, mid to high 60s, and it's going to be sunny. So it's going to be a nice week. It's cold still. I mean, you know, it's not the best for May, but I'm not going to complain because it could be cold and rainy. So you got to. Yeah. Uh, the rain coming back too. I felt a little chill in my joints this morning. It's freezing. I got my boots on, my bubble coat. I'm oh, freezing. Bubble coat. For May, this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, you know, it ain't nothing we ain't used to. It's, you know, I remember when yeah, I graduated uh, the first week of May in 2011, and it was not like hot. You know, like I remember thinking the same thing. Like, why is it chilly and cold? Like, because I had on like a sleeveless blouse and a uh, pencil skirt, and I was I remember being like cold, That's and I had my graduation <clears throat> uh, gown on. You know what, what I mean? But I remember like going outside at, and taking pictures. Like my it, the wind, it was real windy, mm. and the you know the wind was blowing real hard. And um, it was, and I remember it being cold. Like, and I remember thinking, like, why is it cold and it's May? You know, and that was back in what 2011. So mm, it's like I, I feel like ago. I'm just used to this weather. Like, yeah, I mean, just, I could do hoodie weather all year round, but give us some kind of warmth. Yeah, I mean, I do it's want. Only like summer, it only lasts this much. It does. Yeah. That's it, the reason why. Yeah, I say that, that. yeah, that's why I Let said. I, I guess I'm just used to it. But I. To some good weather. Yeah, mm. we do need to have. But they they say this uh, whole global warming thing is. You know. It's not global warming anything. It's, it's cooling, global, if global anything. Cold. Well, no, but I'm saying like the, they're saying that the global warming thing is what causes all these shifts in the oh. temperature and the atmosphere and all of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm no scientist, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't with the Doppler. <laughs> no, I ain't with the Doppler crew. You know, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> don't let me speak on that now. Yeah, I don't care how long I live here. I'm still gonna complain if it's cold in May. Like, oh, right, yeah. Know. Like you know what I mean? People and we, we don't used like to the it, cold, but still, yeah. I don't like the cold. I'm I don't care how long like, I've lived yeah, here. Yeah, I'm be like uh, 43 years. It's freezing. I hate it. It's May. About Give me some, some years. heat. Give me some sun. I, I thrive in the sun. Well, you know, mm-hmm. thriving. Yes. Mm-hmm. Got to take your ass to the sun. <laughs> I know. I'm going. We wait in Georgia to what? Three more? Two, three years? We need to just go. I be googling every day. I'm like, <laughs> well, Georgia, that little. Uh, <laughs> when, when that city gonna be made? <laughs> yeah, remember uh, Clemmy was telling us about. Mm-hmm. I'm I wonder, ready to like, sign up for to, a membership. We need to figure out who that organization is and try to network now. You know. I'm trying yeah. to sign up for the membership. If we start, maybe Clemmy. we can be the media Clemmy. source for that. To, yeah, because yeah. he said it's we, only we like what, the, nine dollars a month. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll text. Start I'll my text him today and see how we can get in contact with those people. We probably be on we the VIP to. list and get. We the really best need houses. to like, yeah. look into that. No, I'm serious. Because we can create that whole like media oh, network yeah. there. Yeah, I'm very serious. Yeah, expand. What's they know? I mean, <laughs> they're gonna have probably a whole. We don't know yet. They'll probably have. They're gonna have. We're gonna be that the grind. Whatever it is. Yeah. It could be 919. I don't know. <laughs> it might be 111, angel number. Maybe we'll be the ones to make up the area code. We'll mm-hmm. tell them, hey, we want to be 919. Grind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 919. Maybe uh, they won't have any uh, service. <laughs> no, no, we're going to make service? it happen. What? Mm-hmm. What kind of service? Phone service? Phone service. They're going to have all of that. Right. You didn't hear him it's saying that? It's, it's a whole city. They build a whole infrastructure. They're, Whole infrastructure. It's like what? How many acres? Oh, they gonna have it. Yeah, why would we? Twenty twenty one. Yeah. They don't have schools and jobs and. Yeah. I'm just talking. Oh. Sounds like they gonna it. have it because right. that's their that way might, to network. I wonder what the, the traffic world. is gonna be like. Oh. Well, you know, the traffic here is pretty cool. Will it be a foreign country accidents? or will it be a part of America? America. It's in Georgia. Yeah. It'd be in the state of Georgia. It could be like Pretoria. You know, remember how he oh. declared his own independence at his yard on the Family Guy. It was Pete uh, No. Mm-mm. I don't remember I don't that. Man, y'all ain't about to act like that. Yeah, I don't watch Family Guy. I'm sorry. Family I'm Guy. Just not hip. I'm sorry. Family yeah. Guy. Remember he had. Uh, I don't remember. I don't. Yeah, I, I, don't I haven't know. watched every episode of Family Guy. It ain't every episode. It's just that one. Where I haven't seen that episode <laughs> of Family it Guy. Ain't every episode. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not a cartoon <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't yeah, don't relate. I, is that coffee good? Is that part of the old Toledo? It is awesome. Because <laughs> it ain't the powder cream, Mr. Creamy cream. Oh, yeah, I got some new cream? 
Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, on top of it, because that's why I, I made my coffee at home today. Your fault. Your fault. Uh, no, I mean my my, co- my creamer is good at home. My, so. shit, my shit bursting right now. I got a question, guys. Oh, shit, yesterday was question. not bursting, so I was a little was concerned. Right. I have What's your a question? Serious, serious question. What? For all of you. What is it? Do we have trending topics? Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a text from uh, Mud City Entertainment. We're supposed to give away uh, on the Rise and Grind Morning Show. You do it every time. That was. It was not talking. Y'all both doing it. Now we can talk. (laughs) (laughs) Should usually be rapping right now. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, but my city is uh, giving away two VIP tickets to next to blow today. Okay, my VIP. To some lucky callers, we got to figure out what we want y'all to do. Oh. Mm. Yesterday, what did they do? Guess uh, Valerie's, uh, I mean, not Valerie, that's her sister, Bethany's uh, Zodiac. Zodiac song? Mm-hmm. It was both that what it was? Her birth. No, no, her school, her high school. Her high school, and, and then Zodiac, Zodiac sign, yep. yeah. Yep. Wow. Your camera looks dark today. Well, oh, you know. Oh, <sighs> San Francisco, California. Bill you know, Bill. I'm all about the housewives. Mm-hmm. I'm an avid, uh, you know, fan. I, saw it. I watch. I, saw uh, it. I watch. But what I've learned this morning, you know, in trending news, I've seen it before I went to bed. Is that Miss Portia is out here? You know. Oh yeah, that story too. Yeah, I thought I was talking about old girl coming back. It's doing her um, thing. Um, she okay. So. On the show, which is crazy because I don't you know, know a chick who do that. Is okay, so yeah, okay. I want to know who Fallon is. I missed the soul <clears throat> season. Okay, so the crazy part about it is this season just ended. Like they just had the reunion and all of that. Oh, for real. And real? I um, need to go back. Fallon was introduced on the show as Portia's friend. What? Okay, like when she came on the show, she wasn't one of the housewives. She was just you know how they be having the extras. Extra people. Okay, right. so she came and when she was introduced. She was introduced as Portia's friend. Wow. Portia had been over her house. They I've had double dated, all type house. of stuff like that. <clears throat> oh, they double dated? Yeah, I guess. Allegedly. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I, I thought you yeah. said it was on Allegedly. the show. No, not well, um, no, not on the show. They didn't. But apparently they met through their men. Because Portia's now basically saying, okay, so the so basically Fallon, and she was a really beautiful woman. So yeah, Fallon kind of like uh Portia's uh Marley. Uh, what's what's Lenny's friend name? Margo. Margo. That's Marlo. Uh, Marlo. Marlo. <laughs> that's Marlo. That's the portion like her Marlo. Well, obviously Margo. not. Not well. No, because Nene and uh, Margo or what's Marlo. her name? Marlo. Marlo. <laughs> <laughs> they fell out a long time ago, and they ain't yeah. been friends for a long time. So oh, they never got back. I don't no, think I don't so. Think yeah. So. so, but she's she's yeah, basically yeah. a Marlo because she's okay. like an extra. She's right, like right. a you she know they had no Tanya, peach. they had the girl Tanya. She was like extra. Yeah, she don't got no peach. She's not on that thing. You know okay. whatever. But anyway, no she peach. was married to this older guy named Simon. Yeah. Um, you know, very rich guy, obviously. And um, and then and they showed him on the show because yep. she would mm. you know they had went to the there was this one episode where she like invited Portia and a couple of the other ladies over to her house and they wow. were all jumping in the pool they were all in bikinis with their booties out and Portia, he was sitting and the boy. husband was sitting up there just watching like he came outside and was just sitting there watching happy like yeah you know I got all these beautiful women in my pool you know he was doing his little thing and then like so now basically Fallon and the husband are divorced and Portia's engaged to I him. Seen oh, they engaged? Engaged to him. Yes. I thought they to the Simon. To Simon, the Who's husband. Simon? Fallon. Fallon's, hus- Fallon's ex husband. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was just so crazy because it makes you like, I mean, I know that I and obviously she, did know you see the post everything. That she made? Who? Let, oh, you didn't see the post? No, I didn't see the post. Oh, okay. Instagram? Go ahead. I, keep talking. Who was, okay, who was so Portia's I, grandfather, the, the civil rights dude? Do you know who he is? I'm not sure exactly who he is, but he was somebody who like walked with yeah, like Martin Luther yeah, King yeah, Jr. and stuff like that. Was Oh. What? Okay, you want me to read? I know who he is. The caption says. Um, look on, look on uh, the thing called Rapture on uh, Netflix with Ti. The episode, the guy that he talks to in the church. Yeah. That's Portia's uh, grandfather. Okay. I'm okay. Um, so was let me ask this question. What was Portia married to? Uh, yep. Cordell Stewart. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. So, but uh, but no, that didn't work out. Well, okay. Was, so then, was, before uh, you read this, since she since this whole story has broke out, Portia is now coming out saying <laughs> she was never my friend. Mm-hmm. I met her through our men. So uh, either way. Like her husband and the guy so, were friends, you know right, what I'm saying. Right, yeah. so, she, so, so they they all hung out at some still, point, had been at each other's houses yeah, and all of that. Still, 
so, absolutely crazy. Yeah. So she posted a picture so of really them. She smashed the homie and then about to smash the other homie. So she posted oh, a picture she's with about them. to marry the homie. <laughs> with the caption saying, our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast and we are living each day to the fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night. Tuning out all the negative energy and only focusing on positive wishes. Mm -hmm. He makes me so happy, and this is what matters the most. Money for all of up. you that need the facts to get the optics, Simon filed for divorce, previous mm. marriage in January. I had mm. nothing to do with their filing of the divorce. That was between them two. Fallon and I are not friends. Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is positive, loving step forward in everybody's life. Simon and Dennis, which is her baby daddy, are committed to being respectful and supportive to my happiness in this situation, as well as being the best co-parents we both can be to baby PJ. Two black men stepping up and being amazing people, let's praise them. It's truly a beautiful moment to live my life. I cannot wait to spend a lot the rest of our lives together. Love wins. Hashtag. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. Love wins, huh? I was wow. reading the comments and people was like, you know, you've been to the house, but I didn't know that they was on the show and double dated. And well, I don't know if they double time. dated. I, that might be something I added to the. But, but obviously, still, at this point, yeah, they've been you, to each other's house. Yeah. They, so, I mean, well, I'm sure they probably had double dated. On the if they show as her friend. Right. Like, that's just crazy. And if me. they met each other personally outside of the show through their men, then obviously they were all together at that's some point. Crazy. You know what I mean? And it's only been a month. And then either way, it's like, that still is really yeah. like. So they've been dating for a month? That's it. And now they're engaged. I don't know how much Love. of that I'm buying. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they've been dating for a month. Yeah, I don't buy Me that. Either. Yeah. That's but ridiculous. I, I can't mean, believe this. Hey, you know. I think what got him was probably them at the, the house in the swimming pool. Yeah, for sure. Because got a change. Oh, and she does. And, she and it was out. Change. And it was out that and day. And out. she was jumping around. And, what was you know, out that and day? Her, her booty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She got and he was sitting on there. <laughs> up, like, if you go back and watch the episode, he sat there and he was just watching and he was smiling. And, and of she's like, like the young, like a little kid. She always dainty. Like, yeah. That mm -hmm. was I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And it was. That's it definitely crazy. was. That's terrible. <laughs> now yeah, she keep so the ratings up. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Next yeah. season's going to be <laughs> crazy. And uh, Faisal coming back. <laughs> Oh, is she? Yeah, that's right. She is Baby coming back. back. Yeah, next crazy. season gonna be she crazy. Squash shit with candy and all that. So yeah. you know that's a lot about crazy. this show. Don't you? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I know a lot about this show. How the sad part about, about it though is that's gonna be, you know, she's gonna be the one next season that's gonna get all the attention. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. She know what she doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's as crazy as it is. That's gonna be what's like highlighted, and she's gonna get a lot of like attention and like. You know, they probably gonna break up. I didn't know her and Wiener too, guy had broke up, Ooh. but her um, baby daddy, her, oh, her oh, ex fiance. Oh, yeah. The crazy thing though is, it's like for me, it's a little too soon for you to be that damn um, living life to the fullest. You know, you two, she's a little bit confident for it to only be a month in. You he know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's just Love like you a little bit confident because if he could do her yeah, like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, not, you don't know what's going to happen a year from now and then you're going to be looking stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and it's just like, you just never know. Last a year. Yeah, so I don't know. It's a little early for her to be, you know, that kind of like. Mm. I still think that's just crazy. Like, it's just some do's and some do nots. I feel like from it's just crazy. It's too many people in this world. How many we got? Eight, Eight billion. billion. Eight you billion. can't find somebody. You can't find somebody else. Why well, go looking when they right there? He found her. Shaky <laughs> chance. What's it like, May 11th? That's crazy. Oh, I just saw that today. And that other situation, because um, on the same uh thing, there's um, there's there was the girl Toya. She was also extra, and she was brought in as like um, I think. Kenya or somebody's friend I don't remember but either way she was like going through a divorce through the whole season but then like the other housewife Drew Sedora she was a new housewife but she was actually a, a cast member she like came on and made this whole big like um a spectacle and saying like Toya he like prayed on this prophet like so I guess some pastor that was like advising well Toya's story was that she was being advised by this pastor but then Drew, this whole story broke and Drew and everybody and all these people were making rumors that her and the pastor were basically sleeping together mm, and praying so, together yeah and so then so Drew was prayed and laid but the thing about it was she wasn't saying anything about the man she was basically saying like trying to come at the girl like you're wrong you're praying on a prophet you're you're messing up a family and it's like listen this grown man if they are doing what they doing this grown man know what he doing like you how she praying on a prophet like you can't you know what i mean she's not praying on nobody but if that was man he with somebody else uh i guess he said 
he had ended up coming out and saying that he wasn't engaged. He wasn't even engaged. Mm-hmm. Like um, he wasn't with nobody. And then he even said like, you know, he claimed that he there was nothing going on between him and her, you know, that he was just advising her. But it was like, that was like a whole scandal that Prophets went on. Prophets need love, too. You know? So I was like, <laughs> I mean, they do if they single, you know, right, if you're single, single, hey, you, you single, know, ain't nothing wrong with you <clears throat> looking for love. Hey, but, you know, if you got a, a, a situation or a wife or a anything, then yeah, you he, dead wrong. He probably prophesied love to her. You know, right here, right now for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> the alignment. Huh? Yeah, the the alignment. alignment. Right and maybe it lay, is. I mean, hey, he doing you know. Laying on the hand? Hands. If, hands. if they find love, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. In that type of way, yeah. But we talking about you with the whole person that you've been in the house with. This you was introduced as my friend. Oh yeah, that well that situation, yeah, that's that's that was what I'm totally saying. different. That's still crazy, I was just though. talking about this one. You know, this was this another scandal that went on through that, that season. That ain't nothing new either, though. Chicks been doing you know doing that for years to uh, their friends. Well, girl, if you don't work out with him, I guess I gonna try. <laughs> 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 and then they, then they be back talking like, girl, you said he was going to do that to <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I did, but, uh, That's um, terrible. I know, man. That's tough. So. <laughs> what you got? Oh, we just doing Trinity Times, huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Here's where I have. I have that. No, no, no. TMZ reports. Oh, no. T reports that, uh, Tory Lanez alleged attack on love and hip hop star. <laughs> and he gets videos of him showing his jaw kind of puffy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it, you know. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Yeah, mm. That's messed up. I thought Tory Lanez was on probation for shooting no girl in the foot. <laughs> Maybe that's why he ran back to the van. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. A, a sprinter ran to the Scooby Doo van. <laughs> it was like a uh, probation violation if he get caught. He probably ain't even supposed to be in Miami. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We don't have to follow the story and see. Mm. Yes, we will. Moving right along. Okay, I got something. <laughs> <laughs> it pays to be petty sometimes. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Petty Betty? Petty Betty. <laughs> yes, it pays to be petty. $32,000 to be exact. A car dealership receptionist who felt away when she was apparently left out during a pizza ordering. The office ordered pizza and then asked her <laughs> what she wanted. A court recently described, I'm going to mess her name all up, so I'm just call her Mal, Mm-mm. experienced a campaign of victimization, which she had been deliberately excluded from Pizza Fridays oh. at the dealership where she worked at before she was laid off of January 2019. The manager at Hartwell, a Ford car dealership in Watford, uh, UK, will ask the staff which takeaway food would they like to order every month. But uh, Mal was not asked what she wanted to eat. <laughs> Sis explained that other employees were asked what they wanted to Did order. Did you just say Sis explained? And that's what it says. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading exactly what it says. I'm done. It says. What I was like, did I just hear her right? Say? No, Sis I explained. Yeah, for sure. I just wanted to make sure I heard wow. Sis right. explained that other employees were asked and she was not. And she Is won. she obese? I don't show a picture of her, but oh, she won. She, she won. So eat. next time y'all come in here with some damn donuts and I ask for a breakfast bowl, <laughs> expect a cease and desist oh, wow. come in. Well don't nobody too much ask for donuts They usually just pop up right? Yeah he just pop up No he's doing that on purpose And he knows I'm trying to what? eat good He said donuts every day I didn't say that I said we've been having donuts Every day this week And it's only Tuesday So I, I'm, I want a fruit bowl you could, For us though It was left with all of us Right No so you got your portion any. No yeah. You get your own portion of right. wings and leave their portion. Of we didn't get not one. <laughs> you get your own portion of corn. So you had wings, up. fries, and mushrooms. Um, You're supposed to come back. I had things to do. Oh, they were supposed to be still sitting we in the had, refrigerator first. That was it. Was that Space Treats? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So shout out to Space Treats. And we would love, me and Shay would love if we could get some more of those infused wings because Clyde took ours. <laughs> <laughs> and smash them. Yeah, I love you, yeah, Clyde. Yeah. But you did not take that. And that's the day, day we couldn't find him. Remember, he came in here buttoning up his pants and stuff. And literally, <laughs> and at me the and end Shay, of the countdown, we were like texting oh, about the morning. chicken wings. Yeah, because that's, that's why. Because they that's came from State asleep. Street. The next morning. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. remember that day you was laid out? Yeah, I remember. Because you I ate did. all the wings. No, I didn't eat them all. And you had champagne. You had a good day. Yeah, two bottles. Yeah, yeah. That's what R C. You had our wings, and then you had the bottle. Then you got a personal, didn't you? Last Monday. You remember that? I don't. Let me go back and watch the show. <laughs> no, I ain't about remember, the show. That was the only day. Yeah, you woke came. up at like eight thirty-five. Yeah, you woke up coming in here yeah, and putting I your pants and stuff together. You don't remember that? I was back there tired. 
Cause you had ate the space I, streets and drunk champagne. Of our wings. If y'all say so, no, that's what you said. If y'all, if y'all say, no, you said that it was just the edibles. Harcy, <laughs> no. did well, he? Didn't why, he bring? Why, why, it, why wouldn't it be because of the edibles? You know, edibles put you to sleep, right? Right. Y'all put me to sleep. I was <laughs> <shot that>. What? <laughs> He you were clearly asleep. My, my tolerance is. Uh, you were clearly heavy, asleep. Heavy. You said when you got home, you got a champagne, and you went straight to and sleep. And you said no. He said he stopped and got a personal bottle right. as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. So you don't think Chardonnay, Chardonnay champagne, that's champagne? Wine. Chardonnay ain't gonna put you to sleep. It gave me a will. headache. Edibles I got like three ninety nine when I said it last. <laughs> edibles. That's like, the, that's like the bottom of the barrel of Chardonnay. You know? Edibles will. Uh, right, right, Leah Renee. I mean, I had an edible last night. It was up all night. I mean, you ain't had no a, space treats though. If you eat a twenty-piece wing, you will. The rice krispies. If you eat a no, twenty-piece wing huh? and some fries and some mushrooms, you <laughs> I will. I didn't eat a twenty-piece wing. Well, between I didn't even eat the five, ten, fifteen—that's about. So you right took there. our wings some, and then wasted some, them. I got some infused <laughs> barbecue sauce for y'all. How about that? Where's what are we gonna eat it on? Where's the wings? Put it on some watermelon. Watermelon. Y'all ain't about to be persecuting me. Over no wings. Well, you the culprit. Hot box. Hot box. Mud City ENT. Hey. <laughs> Keep going. You saying those he three angles. <laughs> the people says for himself. Yes. Lance Self. Jay Russ Jennings. Ay, Sasha ay. Denise. I ain't doing no ad libs. Sasha. Ooh, ooh, Sasha. Ready to do some of Baptist Church. Amen. The social butterfly Miss Carter. Yes, sir. Kendall Harvey Senior. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. H-Y-P-E. Whack. And Never. shout out to Kid Whack. Yes, Never. Whack. And Nothing if you would like to be a sponsor. I got the best ad libs. Girl, no. Is I talking? Is I sponsor? Like, Money. Okay. Is you, if you want to be a sponsor, you can get us up at Rise. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, what? Uh-uh. 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 It's <laughs> right. <laughs> well, if you want to be a sponsor, yes. you can get us yes. up at Rise and, and grind. grind. At the 409 grind.com. And we can talk to you about sponsorship. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. All right. And uh, we'll, we'll be, be back. back. The conflict is crucial. The diamonds is future. My cousin is future. Other one is scammer. Another one is booster. I like them dark, full of melanin. Melanin. I'm a fix, she my medicine. medicine. Her ass shake like it's gelatin. gelatin. The plug card, he bout the melamin. Yeah. Your man card, he bout to tell again. Yeah. They got him preaching like the Reverend now. Yeah. This local shit is irrelevant. If you're tired of church as usual and you're looking for something invigorating, exciting with passion, then the Greater New Psalmist Baptist Church. 3251 Glendale is the place for you. We are a people that's determined to occupy all streets while cultivating cultural change. The only thing's missing is you. Meet us at 3251 Glendale Avenue as we continue to be relevant and occupy all streets while cultivating cultural change. Hello, my name is Sean Mahone Sr., Founder and Executive Director of Young Men and Women for Change Behavior Modification Boot Camp Program. If you are a parent experiencing issues or problems with your child, then give us a call today. Young Men and Women for Change, 567-277-5352. Productive Leaders for Tomorrow's Future. You're a queen, girl, to know that you're a queen. Like a queen, thing. 
Girl, I know that you a queen. Like a queen thing. And I'ma show you what a 